All right, welcome to Root Crude and Socially Unacceptable. On this episode of Super Mario Maker, we are, um, I'm here with Daniel, and if you've seen any of the other Mario Maker episodes, we are, we are playing games that you've made, right? Well, levels I've made. Games, levels, whatever. I didn't realize I said that, but. So, But Can You JoJo is the new one, right? Yep. Okay. It's done in the Super Mario 1 style. So right. It's very old fashioned. Let's see that. Alright, I need to remember the. <laughs> I love that. I need to remember the. things. Oh, nice. Okay. That was a great start. Yeah. You can tell that I have played this every day since last recording, right? What is this? That's, uh, that's the Nintendo Dog thing. Ah! Oh, you can't wall jump either. Forgot about yeah. that, because it's a later game. Darn it! All right. So anyway, since our last, um, what is that? It's uh, cat peach. Cat peach. Oh, okay. Thought it was some. Oh crap. I'm. Ah. All right. <laughs> I don't remember I was starting to say. Just screw it. Oh, Yoshi. Okay, I realized that. It's a Yoshi. Yoshi. For... <laughs> you just walked off the edge. <laughs> anyway, uh, so since last recording, we've gotten a lot of uh, new. New people watching, as I've told you about, and you've seen, I mean, really. Um, yep, new subscribers. So, I want to say hello to all of you, and I apologize for our whatever we've got going on with us. It's a disability of some sort. Uh, I believe it's severe autism. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Ah! Dang it, I suck at this! Come on, man. It falls down, so you got to get off pretty quick. Is that the, what is that? That's the professor from Luigi's Mansion. My fingers don't work. Just land on the left side. <laughs> anyway, where I was going with that earlier about the new subscribers, I wanted to say thank you, hello, and all that. And um, just uh, encourage you to look back on maybe our Outlast series in, like, in, uh... Okay, <laughs> see, that thing, what is that? Sorry. Um... To finish what I was saying, the Outlast series, because that's going to be, there's going to be more videos of that coming soon. We're going to get big groups together and do that more. Explain to me what that is. Hold on, press up on the D-pad. <laughs> is that you? No, that's, no, that's the face of the creator, Mario Maker. Totally forgot his name. I don't know. It's Did a Japanese guy. If I do that with any other, are those skins, do they do anything? Yeah, pressing up always does something. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna have to check that out. Mm. So anyway, anything you're wanting to say? Uh, Do you, uh, any interesting stories that happened over the summer out of that? Interesting stories? Yes. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah! Well, aside from stories over the summer, I have a story from last night actually. Okay, yeah, whatever works. Go so, ahead. tell me. What's up? I was reminded, you know how usually when you wake up you totally forget about your dream unless someone says something that reminds you of it? Have you ever had that? Uh, yeah. I have had that. So I had a dream last night that I was watching the movie Braveheart <laughs> mm -hmm. and every time the main character, I forgot his name, yeah, but every time remember. the main character gave like some sort of battle cry, all you heard was a whoopee cushion. Why? <laughs> I that's, don't. That's a dream that you had? That's a dream I had. And I was watching it with someone because we had to uh, do like uh, some sort of summary paper about it. Ah. And yeah. <laughs> every time it went off, they were like, oh man, that's a good detail. And like wrote down a note. And I looked at them and I looked at the screen and I was like, what was interesting about that? I learned nothing. Like this whole movie's a joke. Darn it, I missed it. It was just like so interesting because you know how at the end of the movie he screams freedom? Yeah. I heard was it just like I heard him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have held it. See, okay, so hey, that character right there? Yeah. One of the best anime characters of all time. Never watched it, so. That's Chitoge Kurosaki. That sounds the anime, like a weird that, from that, the anime Nisekoi. Sounds like a freaking soy sauce, dude. Dude. It's a romantic comedy, and it is so good. What, between you and your body pillow? Oh, dude, my <laughs> body pillow, 
my body pillow has experienced some things back oh, in the day. Lord. <laughs> I feel like Charlie should just do a just a compilation roast on you. Why? Just stuff you've said. Because you're such a weeb. <laughs> well, dude. I not, okay, that being said, you're not that bad, but you are you're to some degree. You're not holding sprint. I, I wasn't that time, you're right, I forgot. But I wonder what would happen if the almighty diesel patches <laughs> made a video on me. The almighty. I don't know, dude. All have In his uh, Discord server, I mean, ever since I became an admin, I've been turning people away from him and seriously? making them my own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I would abuse my admin powers in Discord. And be like, hey, I'm going to ban you unless you swear fealty to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, you... Dude, I'll be honest, that Discord server is straight cancer. Oh yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's terrible. You should make a Discord server for yourself. Yeah, because I have that many people watching. Well, think about it. Even if there's only like 20 people, it'd be pretty some, interesting. That is true, and it'd be less hectic. Yeah, so I'm sure... I'm sure Diesel only sent over the decent people to your channel. Maybe. As soon as that I, was as soon as I know it was, I'm distracted. But anyway, as soon as I gained all those, um, one person went back and watched one of my videos, and they just commented, "New." That was it. <laughs> I don't know. There's no context. So I'm just like, at, at what? <laughs> like, what are you? Mm -hmm. So I just liked it. <laughs> Have I ever told you the weirdest dream I've ever had? Probably. I can't, I can't make the jump! <laughs> Alright, so you know how most of my, like, game names are Shilky? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I think... The uh, origin story of how Shilky came to be. Yeah, I didn't, I, yeah. No, I haven't, I don't think I've heard that story, or that dream. Uh, Alright. You told me all about your freaking following on, on, what was it? Yeah, the, uh, Bindle. On what? On, it was an app called Bindle. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> but anyways, so... Yeah. Right. I had this follow following, and it was just... I'll never reveal where the word actually came from. Be I, whenever someone asks me, I always make up a new story about it. <laughs> about where it came from. One of them, which I tell quite often, is this really, like, dark, twisted story about, like, a child abduction. Really? Yeah. But, let's see. Once I got a following of like 40 people on this app, I was like a cult leader, you know? Yeah, I remember. And, then, <laughs> you... and I was like, alright, it's time we actually put a deity into this religion. Oh and then gosh. that's where the stream came in. I was having like a 105 fever in a different country. So I was really out of it and if you've ever been super sick i'm sure you've had some really wacky dreams i've heard things yes, but i don't think i've ever actually so in this dream it was my house and my father wanted me to clean out our basement yeah and we have like a mostly finished basement but for some reason when i went down there it was like just a dirt crawl space and I could still see there, there were some lights, but there were cobwebs everywhere, spiders going along the ground. It looked like no one had touched this place in years. And I was supposed to go down there, take a look of, add like a bunch of cardboard boxes we had. Yeah. And see like what we need to keep and what we had to get rid of. So. I'm cleaning out, I'm cleaning out like some boxes, like organizing, like, okay, this box, take a look in it, we need this, keep it, mm -hmm. saw some other stuff, threw it out. And there was this one open cardboard box, like across the crawl space, maybe 10 feet from me. And in this box was just this giant <laughs> white sphere, not like a perfect ball, it was kind it. of ovalish, like an egg. Uh huh. And this thing was covered with a lot of little lines all, all around it. And there's, I don't want to say like a finger, but some sort of pointy thing sticking out of the top. Like it had a little flap or something. And... Yeah. So, 
well, I'm like, what in God's name is this? Because I don't own anything like this. I've never seen my family with anything like this before. And I was, I would crawl over to it. And then one of the little black, one of the little slits yeah, opens, it's opens, and I realized it was actually just like an eye. <laughs> and like the eye was closed, but then it opened up. And I was kind of freaked out because this thing was living. Yeah. And it like levitated itself out of the box. And the scene changed from like the crawl space in my basement to like a forest. And. <laughs> Pause. What's, what's the matter? How? How do I make that jump? Yeah, me... I can get to that point perfectly fine. Watch. Okay. Well, I know you can get to that point, though. Let me see it. I forgot to run there. That was actually a, a bad. See, how do I? How am All I supposed right. to jump that? I'm holding down All the right. jump button. Pause on that dream. We'll just leave it as yes, a cliffhanger. Yes. Oh yeah, and um, after I figure this out, we'll end the episode. You'll have to hear the rest of the dream in the next, next one, just because it oh, has. Right. Get, you suck, dude. Wow. You created this game. You literally had to. Who'd you, you have beat level. it to actually be able to upload it, huh? <laughs> You're you messing me up it? now. You're messing me up now. <laughs> oh, you don't even freaking have to take that running start, I guess. Oh, you shed your skin. <laughs> All right, all right. I can do that. You sting a reptile. I. What? <laughs> Nothing. I just called you a reptile. <laughs> You're making me laugh. It's messing me up. <laughs> now I look like I'm really bad at this game. Well, um, so you you were telling your dream. I'm going to just recap what I heard from it, and then we will end the episode. Um, or the part. I, I guess I'm I'm done with naming them episodes. I'm going like separating them in okay. parts. But either way, um. So like this weird sphere, this this white sphere, right? Yeah. It's got this weird like little finger type looking thing up on top. Yeah. Right? And you like, what was it? It like levitated up and didn't have a face? No, it was like... No, no face? It was, it was no face. It was just covered in all these little black eyeballs. Like oh, maybe right. a half inch from each other. Uh-huh. And... They were all closed at first, so it looks like there was just a lot of like little nicks or scratches in it. Uh-huh. But oh, then it opened up, and it was just not like white with a black pupil and iris. Yeah. But the entire thing was just pure black. The entire eyeball was yeah. just pitch black. And as you can imagine, being stared at by those beady little 90 eyes was really unnerving. <laughs> yeah. So that was it. That was, that was as far as you. Yeah. Well, we will try that again next next uh, next time. So go ahead and you know, like or share to your friends. I don't really know what to say to do. Um, but thank you for joining me on this episode, Daniel, and we will start up a new one.